I recall somebody really wise uh, in, a, in a book saying that uh, if you can do anything other than be a writer, you should. You know, if you can stand to be a garbage man, if you can stand to write ad copy, you know, if you can stand to do anything other than that, you should because being a writer is a hard way to live. And I think that that's also true of music. If I could do anything else, I probably would. When I was 11, I saw Nirvana on TV, and uh, it was the first time I think that I'd ever seen people who looked like the people in my neighborhood on TV and being treated as though they were doing something valid and worthwhile rather than just getting beat up on the show Cops or whatever. My name is Jeremy Stewart. I'm from Prince George, BC. I'm sitting here in the fabulous Island Mountain Arts Gallery uh, where I'm working this summer as the Arts Wells Festival Coordinator. Counting down the days just erasing their names from the page. I need a more objective way I found my interest and passion for music when I was very small. My family would sing in the car when we were doing long car trips, which was often. Uh, it was mostly country music, and we also, on the farm, we had a record player, and uh, my granny and I would waltz around the living room listening to uh, old school country music. It was pretty sweet. As an artist, I feel that freedom of speech is, uh, is crucially important to a free and just society. I don't believe in censorship of almost any kind. Any speech or any work of art that's produced in such a way that it does not break the law or harm persons and animals, um, I think should be, should be freely distributed, you know, uh, in the sense that it shouldn't be constrained by um, the arbitrary judgments of a few who elect themselves the gatekeepers or the parents of society. Freedom is the precondition of authenticity. Freedom as the precondition of authenticity, I think, kind of makes it very important in terms of living a spiritually fulfilling and meaningful life. Um, and just to make that really practical for a second, um, or make a really concrete example. It's like if people behave a certain way um, because they think they'll get in trouble uh, if they don't behave that way, then uh, to me that's an, that's an unfree situation and the person behaving that way is not necessarily being authentic. They're being coerced, which is kind of like you can get the behavior that you want, but you can't uh, you know, you're not getting the, the hard expression of the person. When it finally happens, it happens overnight. If I had a message for the people watching this video, I would say that uh, what you want to do, if you're, if you're an artist, or whatever your creative expression might be, um, rather than worrying about how to make money out of it or how to be popular or be approved of doing it or if you're really good enough or if it's really who you are or anything like that, any of the fears that try to attach themselves to what you want to do, just do the thing and really enjoy it and don't let anyone or anything discourage you or take you away from it and all the other good things that can come from it will come and just go ahead in that faith and don't let any rejection or any insecurity or anything slow you down just do the thing that you want to do
falls on the neighborhood 